welcome Dr. Jen Foote for uh, our professor spotlight. I'm so excited to have you here today. My name is Taylor Nicey. I'm an enrollment specialist at the Brampton campus, and I'm excited to learn a little bit more about our biology program. Thanks for having me, Taylor. Yeah, so I was wondering if we could start, can you give us a little insight into who you are and what led you to the position that you are in now? Sure. So I'm originally from Nova Scotia. I went to St. Mary's University for my undergraduate degree in biology because it had a smaller biology program than Dalhousie University, which was in the same city. Um, after my third year, I got to work for the summer studying song sparrows with Dr. Colleen Barber, which I later continued to study uh, for my honors and then finally my master's research with her at Dalhousie University. I loved teaching and I was a teaching assistant in several classes as an undergraduate. And during that time, I, I got really interested in research and so I kind of kept going. So after my master's, I went to Queens to do a PhD where I studied chickadee communication. Okay. And then I finished and I was excited when I saw a job at Algoma University. And that was because it was a smaller program and I really wanted to teach at a primarily undergraduate university. Um, and though I enjoyed working as a TA at bigger universities like Dalhousie and Queens with smaller groups of students, I saw that the professors usually taught to really big classes. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to talk to my students and get to know them and not um, just see hundreds at one time. Yeah. So also Sault Ste. Marie looked like a beautiful place to live um, where I could do lots of outdoor things in my spare time and I certainly haven't been disappointed. Yeah, how is the, um, if it seems like you're a little bit interested in birds then, is there like a better bird population in the Sioux than where else you've lived? I don't know about better, but definitely more accessible. Um, yeah. There's lots of forests nearby to study natural populations without having to travel. When I did my PhD, I actually lived at a field station for six months. So um, cool. being able to do it down the road from my house is definitely an advantage. Yeah, yeah, definitely agree. Um, do you have a favorite class that you instruct at Algoma? Well, I enjoy all the classes that I teach, but I think my favorite class is field studies in biology because we get to spend almost the entire time outside observing local natural history or inside when it rains or the weather isn't nice, we get to identify the things we collected. I also enjoy that in that class, students get to complete their own independent field projects in the latter part of the term. So it's great to have that experience of guiding them as they work through like the entire scientific process. Um, and the in-class cl presentations are so great because we get to learn as a group about all the diversity of projects that the students carried out. Are there some of those projects that stick out in your mind, some of those topics? Um, well, I can think of a few examples of things that students asked last time around, um, yeah. like things like what time of day do most birds visit bird feeders and does that vary with the weather? Do birds prefer to visit a particular color of feeder when given a choice? Um, how does the density of earthworms vary with the type of forest? And then perhaps things about invasive plants were a common theme. So how common were they? Do they vary with distance from a trail and, and questions like that? Okay, cool. Cool. Um, for my next question is students love to hear from successful people like yourself of what types of careers can come from this degree. Our students have gone on to such a diversity of things, but some have gone to prof professional programs afterwards and eventually work in medicine, pharmacy, optometry, public health and veterinary medicine, for example. Other students have gone on to work um, in government, like, for example, at the Great Lakes Forestry Center, um, in not-for-profit organizations like the Invasive Species Center, and then in industry, for example, in environmental consulting. Mm, nice, nice. And do you have any advice for students who are considering this degree? I certainly do. Um, my, my, I think one of the most important pieces of, of advice I can give to students in either biology or environmental science would be to embrace the opportunity. Um, take the time to enjoy and learn from your labs. Don't just treat them as yet another assignment to tick off the to-do list. Uh, volunteer or work in research labs. Take advantage of our internship courses to get more hands-on research or work-related opportunities. And then also get involved in extracurricular activities like the biology club. I think that by doing science, students become more excited about learning the foundations they need uh, to go on and work in their field. And there's lots of great opportunities in our program to get involved and work alongside faculty and your peers. 
Yeah, and I think tying into Algoma being a small a school as well, like these opportunities are right there at your fingertips. Exactly. And I think for me, when I was at a smaller school, um, I felt less shy about approaching my professors to ask about opportunities. Um, I think for me personally, at a, a bigger school, I wouldn't have had the courage to go up to uh, the front of the class and, and try to talk to my professors. Yeah, I, I totally see that. It is. It can be frightening. And in the smaller environment, you feel a little bit more comfortable doing so. Um, moving on, talk a little bit about your time at Algoma. I was wondering why do you like instructing specifically at Algoma? I know we talked about the small class sizes, but maybe there's something else as well. Well, one of the things I enjoy most about teaching at Algoma is seeing students develop their skills um, as they move from their first year through their fourth years because I teach courses at all levels um, and teaching students multiple times gives me an opportunity to really watch their writing and scientific methodology skills develop and improve. Um, so that by the time we get to the upper years, I really enjoy teaching those smaller upper year classes where I already know the students and we can have a more seminar style class where we can have dynamic assignments and students can use the skills that they've built over those earlier years of the program. The other thing is I really enjoy working with students in my lab and teaching them both field and lab skills in a more one-on-one -on -one learning experience. So thesis students and internship course students, I really enjoy teaching in those uh, instances as well. Yeah, I can see that if you have like a first year student and you get to know them so well every single year in different classes to just see them blossom come their last couple of years is, is really rewarding. It certainly is, yeah. yeah. Um, and then my last question for you is, how do you bring the thunder, aka what makes this program at Algoma U so special? Well, I think our program is special because our faculty are very engaged in research with students. We work research projects into courses, internship students can work in faculty labs. We encourage first year students to volunteer to find a lab they're interested in working with. And we have lots of summer employment opportunities during the term, but also during the summer. For example, I usually have about three to five students who work in my lab on collaborative research projects every summer. So in the field, my students observe bird behavior, they make recordings of their vocalizations. And then in the lab, they get to all work together to analyze different aspects of these large data sets that we generate. So that in our programs, uh, in general, the final fourth year thesis projects are really of high quality and many of our students are able to publish their work in scientific journals and also go on to present their research at academic conferences. So this means that when they wish, if they wish to, students who go on to graduate schools are really successful, not just at getting into their desired programs, but they're really competitive in scholarship competitions like the National Science and Engineering Research Council postgraduate school scholarships and the Ontario graduate scholarships. So I think we really bring the thunder because our programs prepare our students for the future work that they're going to do. Um, we give them the skills in project management, collaboration, and scientific literacy that they need to succeed in whatever they choose to do. Yeah, it sounds like when they leave the program at Algoma, they really are going to have a stacked resume if they choose to take advantage of all these opportunities. Yes, definitely. Well, thank you for joining me today and, and teaching me a little bit more about the biology program. Um, I'm sure the prospective students are really going to find interest in this. And it was really nice to meet you today. Yeah, you too. Thanks, Taylor. Mm -hmm.